Hello and welcome back to my channel and another food shopping haul. So today I've been to Sainsbury's and I'm going to get right into the video because I haven't run out of time and I've got somewhere I need to be. But at the end of this video I'll let you know what I spent. I will also take you through my meal plan for the coming week. I just want to start off by saying this is a big shop for us. Like we were out of pretty much everything. So I've got a lot of fruit and veg. We've got a lot of veg. We've got a lot of meat. Um, just lots of bits and pieces basically because we were low on stuff. So I will start over here. So Sainsbury's in perfect range or in perfectly tasty range is actually really good value and the stuff's really good quality. These potatoes look much nicer than their like branded ones and this isn't a sponsored video by the way. Um, they just look better, they're not green, they don't have all the black bits. So I've got two of those because we're having a lot of potato -y dishes this week, um, including a roast dinner and I need to make some wedges on a few nights. I've got a pack of the imperfectly tasty carrots, these were 35p. Some imperfectly tasty peppers. Um, you got a four yellow and one red, and I think these are 85p. Two lots of these Kanzi apples. They were six for one pound fifty each. Two packets of British leeks because we absolutely love these roasted, so we eat these all the time. Parsnips for our roast dinner. Got two lots of mushrooms. Um, just because we're eating lots of veg and we need them for lots of recipes. Three white onions. There's the other mushrooms. Got one cucumber, some courgettes or zucchini. People keep saying to me, "What on earth is a courgette?" Um, I think in the US they call them zucchinis. We absolutely love this roasted. Got some cherry tomatoes, red seedless grapes, and some British romaine heart lettuce. So onto the meats and things. We have got quite a bit. Cause like I said, we have nothing left. So I got a big pack of chicken breast fillets, and this will definitely do. Obviously, more than one meal. Probably do more than two meals. 1.6 kilos, and it was seven pounds seventy-five, which worked out a really good price. I got a large joint of beef, which should have been nine pound a kilo, and is actually six pound fifty a kilo. So we will have leftovers from this. We'll have a roast dinner, and then we'll have lots of sandwiches and things and salads made out of the leftovers. So a pack of sausages for like sausage sandwiches. Some chicken thigh fillets to do marinated chicken skewers in wraps. I got two lots of 5% fat pork mince because I'm going to make some burgers and I'm also going to be doing a spaghetti bolognese. Two lots of smoked bacon for some Hunter's chicken. And then some heck chicken Italia sausages. They're really nice. They have like the seasonings and the mozzarella in them, basil and garlic. So I got some of those as well. I got 10 free range eggs, some beef. These are actually called rich beef stock pots. I've not seen the rich beef ones before. Got two tins of plum tomatoes. We've got some plain tortilla wraps, some King's Meal 50 50, and 12 soft white rolls. These are pre sliced and they're really nice. They're war, war bootons for Halloween, but they're just really nice soft rolls for the burgers. That's Hobbs. If you can hear tapping, it's Hobbs like walking around, like tapping around our wooden floors. Um, I've got some Bisto beef gravy granules. That's our dog, by the way. If you don't follow us, you might wonder what <laughs> Hobbs is walking around tapping on the floor. It's a dog. Um, yeah, so I've got beef Bisto gravy, some boil in the bag brown rice. I'm really fancying brown rice at the moment. A large pack of clover. This was £2 for a kilo. Around the other side of the breakfast bar. Got some random um, wholemeal pitters here. I'm going to be making pitta pizzas. Some wafer thin chicken and some wafer thin ham. That's great for like sandwiches and wraps and things. Two lots of these dairy really strip cheese. I haven't seen this in the shops for ages. We usually buy cheese strings, but I haven't actually seen the strip cheese. And I actually prefer this to the proper cheese strings. So I got those for the boys, but I like them as well. Some halloumi to have in chicken wraps. And got some Young's fish fillets for the boys to have like homemade, it's not home, homemade fish and chips. Yeah, well, I'm a homemade the chips anyway. Um, over here, I've got some smoked paprika because I'm making a Spanish chicken, orange and mango squash. My boys love the Curacy cinnamon cereal, and I've never noticed they do a Curacy strawberry. So it's the same kind of thing, but strawberry flavoured. So I got one of those because that was on offer at £1.50. I picked up some of these to see if my mum wants them because um, she's vegetarian. They're doing two corn ultimate burgers. These should have been £3 and they were £1.50. And also some of these super green pesto burgers. They've got edamame beans, kale and spinach. These are on offer. I think they should have been something ridiculous like £3.75. 
and they were 50p so i've got those in case she wants those i've got some belgian chocolate salted caramel options this is hot chocolate like an instant hot chocolate hot chocolate it is 38 calories per serving i was quite disappointed they didn't have it on offer so i did pay full price because i have one of these every night um, and we haven't got any so it was four pound but normally i get it half price at two pound but i didn't have any and i want some so i paid full price for that one two of my boys out of the three start half term or october break next next week so i got some super noodles for their lunches just as like a little treat so i got two puri puri chicken and one southern fried they were 50p some straight cut oven chips just sainsbury's own basic ones some battered chicken dippers these are just kind of things we like to have in the freezer even if they're not on the meal plan and got two lots of the surf coconut this was a three pound for each one so i got two some spiral pasta i got some of these pots of joy these are actually quite expensive they're two pound fifty for four apparently they are really really nice i've never had one um, but they've got some new ones out or ones i haven't seen and they were a pound for four so i got three different ones i got some caramel i got the chocolate brownie flavor and i also got the buttons flavor so boys can have one of those they are really tiny though i don't know how they charge two pound fifty for four little pots but the boys can have one of those like after their dinner or something i got some belvita breakfast biscuits these were one pound 25 i want to say for five and then some rice crispy bars and some coca pot bars these were a pound each sandwich bags and some foil just because i'm out of both of those crisps i got some hula hoop puffs some beef ones and some ready salted or just salted these were a pound for six bags and then i got a big pack of doritos as well and these are four cool original four tangy cheese four chili heat wave and they were two pound for 12 packets I bought some sweets, I usually get the kids some sweets, they like watch a movie at the weekend. So you get three packets of fizzy straws in here, so they could have one of those each. And then I got ten little fun size bags of Skittles, so they can have those, like one of those each or a couple of those as well. And then Oscar has recently done a spelling test, bless him, he worked so hard. And he got 10 out of 10, and he does struggle sometimes with his spelling, so I said that if he got 10 out of 10 he'd get a treat. So I put in this little bag of Mal Mix for his treat. <laughs> I got some toilet tissue this was four pound fifty for 18 and i noticed when i got it out the car and i was carrying it in it's actually scented it says it's lotioned and lightly fragranced so i don't know it doesn't hurt to have a smell nice smelling toilet roll and then last but not least i've bunched these things together even though it's not normally how i lay it out but i kind of wanted to show you my thinking behind what i bought so i've already wanted to try these itsu chicken gyoza dumplings for ages and i think they're quite expensive they're like £3.75 or £4 a pack. So today they were £2.75. So I got one of those. I also got some of these bao buns. We have had these before. These are the steamed duck ones, the hoisin duck ones. We actually made our own bao buns. We've made them twice. Um, the successful time was when we put cheeseburger pod filling in, like from Disney's Animal Kingdom. There is a video up if you want to watch that. It was me and Steve doing it. It is really, really funny. Um, so I can leave that link down below. But what I was trying to say, <laughs> I'm wearing myself out. It's a lot of faff um, and a lot of hassle to make your own bow buns. And these were, I think, £2 or £2.50. So I thought we could have these. We could have the little chicken gyozas. And then I got some medium egg noodles. I got one of these. I got a mixed stir fry vegetable mix. And then I got a blue dragon spicy fryer cat. Spicy fire cracker stir fry sauce. So I thought I can mix the vegetables with the noodles and put the sauce on, and then we can have it with some of these and some of these. And then you've got what was it? Five, maybe like six pound for a Japanese takeaway, I guess. I don't know if this is Japanese, but it's not bad for two of you for about six pounds, six pounds fifty. You know, because we're not going out to restaurants and things much at the moment. So I just thought that was a really nice little Friday night or Saturday night treat for me and Steve. So that is everything I bought. I actually had a voucher um, for six pound off, but I spent a hundred and eleven pound, which I think is really reasonable. This will fill my cupboards. It will keep my two teenagers full over the week that they're off until their little brother joins them and then i've got all three home for a week and we've got a massive joint of beef to have 
you know, roast beef and leftovers. We've got plenty of chicken to make several meals. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So what I will do now is I will take you through what I'm gonna make with all of this food next week. Right, apologies if this is a little bit hard to read. I could only grab my red pen. Thursday, we are gonna be having the chicken thigh and halloumi wraps, and I'll probably do that. I've got some coleslaw to use up and also some like gherkins and pickles and bits. Friday, I'm gonna do homemade burgers and I'm probably gonna serve that with some salt and pepper chili wedges. On Saturday, I'm gonna do the boys fish, chips and peas. Steve and I are gonna have that sort of Japanese fake away meal. Sunday, we're gonna have a roast beef. On Monday, I'm gonna be making Spanish chicken with rice and vegetables. Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing a hunter's chicken, so chicken breast topped with bacon and barbecue sauce and cheese, some wedges and some vegetables with that. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna be having spaghetti bolognese. That is my meal plan for the coming week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to go and subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care, guys. This is what we waited for